Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. This Seven Star Hisuian Samurai Terror Raid event is now back in Scarlet and Violet. We're going to cover all the details as well as the best Pokemon to solo this with in your game. So for this weekend only, we've got the last remaining time. Hisuian Samurai will be appearing in a Seven Star Terror Raid in Scarlet and Violet. It'll be running from the 1st of December until the 3rd. It will be level 100, will have its hidden ability sharpness, it will have the move Ceaseless Edge, Razor Shell, Exorcist, Sacred Sword, and additional moves of Sword Stance, Focus Energy, and Bulldoze, Mightiest Mark, Never Shiny, and Water Terror Type with an Adamant Nature, and it will have all of these good item drops. The first time that you go through this raid, you're going to be guaranteed an ability patch, the TM, Lots of Terra Water Shards and a bunch of XL and Large Candies. And then when you repeat this raid for the item drops, when you go into it, you're not going to be able to catch it again because it is catchable once per save file. You're going to have an array of different high cost items, including those Large and XL Candies, as well as Rare Candies, Nuggets, Bottle Caps, and the Ability Capsule and Ability Patches if you are lucky. But that is the event details be running like i say over this weekend from the first until the third and then that will be the end of the opportunity to get to in samurai in scarlet and violet now the builds that we'll be featuring in today's video are going to be three these are the ones that i think are going to be the best the quickest to run through this raid to beat Hisui in samurai and also solo it for those high cost items that you want to be kind of farming over the weekend when the event is running first one is going to be victory bell poison and grass type terror type is going to be poison Held item is going to be metronome. Make sure it's level 100 and hyper train. So all those IVs are 31. Then it's got the moveset of gastro acid, acid spray, clear smog and giga drain with the ability chlorophyll with an EV spread of 252 in HP, 124 in speed and then 132 in defense. Now the speed investment in particular will take you to a 207 speed stat. That's important because it will then allow you in the raid to outspeed the Hisuian Samurai to get these moves off. We'll jump into the raid in a moment to show you exactly how quickly you can do this with the Victory Bell. But this is a Victory Bell build that we're going to feature in today's video. And as always, with all the builds, they'll be down in the description below if you'd like to take a look at them after the video. Next up is Shaman. It is going to be in its Sky form. I understand not everyone has access to Shaman in their games, but if you do, this is a great build and a very quick one to go through the Hisuian Samurai this weekend. It is going to have the Grass Terror Typing level 100 with the Shell Bell held item, make sure it is hyper trained so all those IVs are maxed out. Then the moveset is going to be very simple. It's going to be Worry Seed, Growth and Seed Flare. The one caveat is with Seed Flare, it doesn't have the best accuracy, so it may miss. So just to kind of give yourself a buffer against that, it just PP max it. So if you do miss, you've got that little bit of a buffer where you're going to be able to complete the raid no matter what. But that is the moveset. The EV spread is going to be pretty straightforward with a 252 in HP and then 252 in defense with a modest nature and the ability Seren Grace. So that is the Shaman. We'll jump into the raid again in a moment and show you how this one works. And finally, we've got the Mariah Dom. We covered this in our preview article when I was out in Gdansk last week, but it is a very good option still and a very fast one. It is going to have the held item of the metronome. Electric Terror Typing, level 100, Hyper Train, so all its IVs are maxed, with a moveset of Metal Sound Reflect, Electro Drift, and Parabolic Charge. We originally had the Calm Mind on there, and it does work for sure, but if you want to make this just a little bit more streamlined, I would go Electro Drift over anything else. EV Spread is going to be 252 HP, 252 Special Attack, with the rest put in defense with that Hadron Engine ability. So these are the Pokemon, but like I say, everything going well these will all be able to run through this raid pretty easily over this weekend so we'll jump in and i'll show you the victory bell right now so the raid will start as always we'll see the turn zero these swords dance come out from the hisuian samurai boosting its attack by two stages but this is no problem for us how we've trained the victory bell we'll be able to get rid of those boosts quite quickly so we're going to be using the clear smog move turn one that will nullify those stat boosts, so it means that it's not going to be hitting as hard this first turn at least. Um, and then we're going to further reduce its attack power as well by going for that Gastro Acid. We've got to get that off before the shield goes up, because once the shield goes up, we're not going to be able to use that attack. It will not be effective, so it will nullify its ability for the rest of the raid. We're going to see the Ceaseless Edge come out. 
just do decent damage to us of course this first turn um and then we go for that gastro acid which is going to be the big thing here as we see another ceaseless edge come out but we take that pretty comfortably here as the spikes are scattered around the field and before the shield goes up like i say you need to prioritize getting that gastro acid off that suppresses the ability on the Hisuian Samurai. Then we're going to concentrate on going for the Acid Sprays here. Thesis Edge might come out and knock you out if it gets a critical hit, of course. But this time we get pretty lucky or fortunate at least. And we are able to get an Acid Spray off. So that's the main thing. We want to get the special defense on the Hisuian Samurai down to minus six. And the nice thing about the Acid Spray is it will work through the shield as well. So we want to get three of these off in total, get it down to minus six. And then we can start going for our Giga Drains. Hopefully at that point we'll be able to Terrasalize as well. And then we will be able to then do some significant damage. We get pretty fortunate with a Ceaseless Edge miss. And this might happen to yourself. In normal situations you're going to get knocked out there. So you're going to be fainting. And you're not going to be able to get that Acid Spray off. Like we're not going to be able to get it off here. Because we do get knocked out. So that's fine. That's part of the plan really with the Victory Bell. Uh, once we come back onto the field, we want to use one more acid spray and then we're going to be at the point where we can terrestrialize. And then with the metronome, just spam that Giga Drain. It's going to keep us healthy and the damage is going to increase every time we kind of consecutively use that move as well. So one more acid spray, like I say, we don't need to terrestrialize just yet. And that will get the Hisuian Samurott special defense down to minus six to the point that we needed to. This is Edge going to come out again. But it, like I say, not really going to be doing too much damage. And you can see special defense down to minus six. We're going to be at the point where we can terrestrialize. So we're going to lock in with that and then just hit that Giga Drain button. And this is going to be pretty easy from this point out. Minus six. We haven't boosted our special attack, but you don't necessarily need to here. With the terrestrialization, we're going to be hitting a lot harder. And then we're kind of boosting that with that special defense stat that the Hisuian Samurai's got. And it's not going to lower those defenses until very late on in this raid as well. So you can see to start off with, it's not doing too much damage, but that damage will increase as we get further into the raid with that metronome item that we've got access to. So another Ceaseless Edge coming out. But you can see we're taking that pretty well. And we've not, it's not like we've got an Intimidate user on our team. So that's not something that would help us out if you do have an Intimidate user course that will make this raid a lot easier for you and you can see the damage kind of growth here every turn that we're using that with that metronome item so the next turn we're going to be able to break the shield uh, the raid timer in a healthy position as well considering as well that we have already fainted so it does take a big chunk of that away quite quickly when you do faint if you can avoid fainting it will make this raid so much quicker in regards to the raid timer and um, but there we go there's a the shield broken and we're going to be in a very good place to get this very close to being knocked out this next turn with another Giga Drain. So you can see the shield broke. We'll see the focus energy come out from the Samurott. It is going to boost those chances of critical hits hitting. X's are coming out, but still not really doing that much damage to us. And it does negate the negative effects on its side of the field. So here you can choose to go for another Acid Spray before you go for another Giga Drain if you prefer to. I think this is probably the best case of action. If you do see the shield go down here and if you get that double chance where it doesn't attack go for two acid sprays it's just going to mean that the giga drains are going to hit a lot harder uh, going forward with the shield down we'll see another x scissor come out it is going to land a critical hit um no it's not it's going to just hit big big that looked like a critical hit but it wasn't anyway we'll lock in with the giga drain we'll be able to recover a lot of health back and do some significant damage here and then we've got that metronome kind of ticking away as well with the victory bell where we'll be able to kind of just close this raid up very, very quickly. And considering, like I say, that we have fainted, we're going to be in a good position where this next Giga Drain, is it going to be enough? It should be it's going to be very close to picking up the knockout. And that is going to be as easy as it is, it is. Especially if you're a Victory Bell fan like myself, it's a nice Pokemon to use. I've had a lot of fun running through this raid with Victory Bell. And it's one of those Pokemon where even if the RNG is bad, you're not going to lose this raid. You're going to have an easy time with it. I mean, you're going to have to have serious, really bad RNG not to be able to kind of run through this raid pretty quickly. Like I say, it's going to be, you're going to be able to do this in like five minutes. And we've not had the best RNG go for us in this raid. We've not had an Intimidate user next to us. We've not had our Bolivia boosting our Giga Drain. So if you've got any one of those other things next to you that we've just mentioned, it will speed up this raid even quicker. So there is the chance of that. 
But like I say, Victory Belt, a very good option going in against the Hisuian Samurott if you're looking for different options over this weekend. Okay, for those of you that are using the Shaman, we'll go through exactly what you want to be doing in the raid. It is very straightforward because this Pokemon is going to be brilliant at farming Hisuian Samurott over this weekend while the event is running. Turn zero is going to start and we are going to see a sword stance from the Hisuian Samurott before anything happens. Loosening its attack by two stages, making it hit a lot harder going forward. But we're going to lock in with Worry Seed turn one. Now, this is going to get rid of the sharpness ability. It's going to turn sharpness into insomnia. So the slicing type attacks that it's got access to aren't going to be hitting as hard going forward. For the rest of the raid, which makes it a lot easier to deal with. Now, turn two. And on from this point, we're pretty much going to be locking in to Seed Flare. Now, if you've got an Intimidate user on your partying Pokemon, uh, or you've got an Arbolivia here that's going to set up the grassy terrain for you, it does make it a lot easier and a lot quicker for the raid in general. Especially if that grassy terrain is in effect when you Trastalize, you will be hitting a lot harder. Uh, but it's not necessary, so you don't, you don't necessarily need to have either of those going forward on your team. Like I say, we're going to click in with that Seed Flare. Uh, we're going to utilize the shell bell it's going to give us a little bit of recovery going forward and make this a bit more manageable so we'll take that ceaseless edge again we'll just go for another seed bomb seed flare i should say and uh, the nice thing about seed flare is it's going to lower the special defense by one stage on the toggle pokemon every time you use it or it has a chance to but because of the seren grace ability that the shaman skyform has access to it does mean that you're pretty much always guaranteed to lower that special defense by one stage every time you use it. So uh, essentially, if we look at the Hisuian Samurott in a moment after the shield goes up, which it does on turn three, we'll be able to kind of have a look at its special defense stat, which should be at minus two because we've used two seed flares up to this point. So it means that we're kind of increasing our attack power every time we use the move as well. You can see minus two special defense so that is very good and again we'll just lock in with another seed flare and after this next one we should be able to terrestrialize now you might get unlucky at some points with a seed flare where it does miss it's not the most accurate of attacks but to kind of give yourself a buffer in these situations if it does miss make sure that you do pp max that move out so you've got eight pp with the seed flare now this is bad RNG for us, really. In most case scenarios, you're going to have a way easier time and you should be at the point where you can terrestrialize now. We'll have to go for that third seed flare again now. We are going to hit this time and it's going to be down to us to be able to terrestrialize the next turn. And that's when it's going to be kind of easy street after that. Now, we do get a bit lucky with the RNG in our favor there. The ceaseless is missing, but not really going to make too much difference in the overall outcome of this raid. So we will click that terrestrialization button and we are going to be able to terrestrialize. The seed flare coming out after the terrestrialization. We have the grassy terrain boost as well. You can see the damage that we're doing here, which is quite significant. It's going to keep us healthy with that shell bell. It's going to see the second round of nullifying our stats and affecting our abilities and things like that. And then another ceaseless edge come out and doing about that 50% mark. We're going to be in a nice position to break the shield. Go for another seed flare. And uh, this will break the shield and put it into a good position maybe at the point of being able to be knocked out this next turn um we should see this samurai not nullify its stat drops on its side of the field uh just because of the the kind of the health that it's at now we are going to see the focus energy come out from it and it probably will launch an attack and scissor um which does critical hit us but we're going to be still in an all right position because we should be able to pick up the knockout because it hasn't nullified the stat drops on its side of the field it's minus six special defense and with one more seed flare that should be enough with the grassy terrain to pick up the knockout and like i say we've had pretty bad rng throughout this raid but saying that that is the hisuian samurai knocked out and that is how easy it is to do with the shaman so nice and easy like i say if you've got an intimidate user in your party in pokemon it will make it a lot easier but if not, it will still be a raid that you'll be able to run through with Shaman in about five minutes, probably four minutes if you've got an Intimidate user. Uh, but a very, very quick build that's going to be good for you to run through, especially if you've got a Shaman in your game uh, or you're a Shaman fan and you want to use it over this weekend. So once you've finished with the Shaman and you want to respawn the den, just hit your home menu as always. Come into system settings, then down into system in in time and just toggle through don't change anything make sure your synchronized clock by the internet is off come back into game and your then should be respawned you'll be able to find 
the, the seven star raid den again fly over to it and just rinse and repeat this method to get as many of the items which is going to be good in the lead up to the indigo disc which is dropping soon to get you prepared for whatever awaits us when we travel to the blueberry academy so that is everything for today's video friends there are three builds all going to be very effective all kind of covering pokemon that you should at least have one of them accessible in your game so hopefully that is helpful if you've got another build that you would like to utilize or you have been utilizing to a lot of success obviously the gogo was something that we covered as well so that's a different option and use in your games to success over this weekend as well but thank you so much for tuning in to today's video if you've enjoyed it please drop a like do subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all of our pokemon scarlet and violet content i'll see you all in another video very soon so until then friends take care of yourselves and bye bye